Hello. I am back after a long, long break that was painful to my heart to be so far away from my adoring fans who just pine for my loss. But um, yes, I'm back. I finished school. I've graduated. So hopefully now I'll be able to spend more time with you and talking about fun things about books and things that you just have been missing from your life. And that's what this is about. I'm also um, going to attempt to edit this video for the first time. So hopefully there won't be so many um, awful blanks and uh, awkward things like I'm saying right now. Great. Okay. So, first on the list is obviously Frankenstein. Uh, Jordan, I hope you have finished the book. So Frankenstein has a subtitle, which many people do not know, but it's the modern, also known as the modern Prometheus, which is, of course, a reference to the Greek myth of Prometheus. Um, Prometheus stole fire from Zeus to give to man as a comfort and so that he could survive. And um, obviously Zeus gets pissed off at him. He punishes him by chaining him to a rock for the rest of eternity, where um, every day an eagle comes and uh, eats his liver, and then it regrows and the eagle come back, comes back the next day and eats it again. So pretty awful, but uh, that's, that's how Zeus rolls. So you may be asking yourself, what does Prometheus have to do with Frankenstein? Well, I'll tell you, the story of Frankenstein is about Victor Frankenstein, a young man, a young scientist who um, finds that he has discovered the secret of life and so decides to test his theories by creating a human. And the result of his work is the creature. When he builds the creature, um, his life pretty much goes downhill from there. Um, after the creature is given life, he immediately realizes that he has probably dabbled in something that he shouldn't have been, and he runs away from the monster <laughs> and basically ignores his responsibilities to the creature and to his family by not telling them. Finally, the creature finds him. They talk. They fight. They have eternal enmity, and I don't want to ruin it for you, so you should really pick up the book because it's fantastic. Go read it. Um, as for the rest of the stuff that I read for the term, I really don't want to talk about it that much because I didn't enjoy it, and I don't think I would re recommend you read it anyway. So, but I'll tell you what I did read. Um, I read R.U.R. by um, Carol Chapik. The other book that I read was um, by Har Haruki Murakami called Hard Boiled Wonderland and the End of Tomorrow, and that was a very good book. Um, I actually am thinking about reading some more of him, but um, since the story is kind of difficult to explain, I don't think I'll try, but I'll give you my recommendation to go and find him, one of his books. The other books that I read that weren't so good as those were um, J.G. Ballard's Crash, which was total shite. I don't know why it exists. It shouldn't. Um, and then Bolaño's uh, Amulet, uh, it was okay, but it was boring as hell. And blah, 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 I think that was it. So um, this was just my last video to wrap up the kind of things that I was talking about last, the last month. So next time I'm going to be talking about some other things. So, so I need to ask you, what should I read next? Um, I have loads of possibilities and um, unfortunately they're kind of nerdy so but these are just the ones that I have picked up and I've been wanting to read so um, if you have better ideas or something that's a little more highbrow you can of course suggest it and let's see what we can get started here um, so one of them that I've had for a while is I think this was actually got really bad reviews um, this is I uh, can't see it because it's shiny um, Dracula the undead but it's by Dacra Stoker which is uh, right there and he is um an ancestor of Bram Stoker, who is, as we all know, the original writer and author of Dracula. So that might be interesting. It's supposed to be a continuation. I love Dracula, which is a great book. Um, next one, kind of vampire related again. I Am Legend by um, Richard Matheson. I've heard this is really good. More different than the movie, so we'll see. Um, Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. Uh, this is his newest one because, I don't know if you know, but he wrote a great series called Thursday Next. Those are good. So I was thinking I might try that. <laughs> this one looked interesting. Oh no. 
this one looked interesting. Uh, it's Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I think the title says enough. Uh, another one that I've heard is kind of interesting, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Yeah, how could it not? And the last one is kind of highbrow, so Vlet by um, Charlotte Bronte. So anyway, um, that's kind of my ideas of what I should read. Um, I'm also thinking about um, the girl with the dragon tattoo, which I've heard is good. So anyway, um, this is really long. I'm sorry. Give me your insight, and we'll talk later. You and me. You know what I'm talking about.